has got a good point to make. And we, you, we can get his mouth in on that thing if you want. Oh, good. I got it. Are you good? Yeah. All right, what's good? We're going to say Shalom. We're going to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakaku Dash. Double honor to the apostles and elders, the great millstone. We do the little. Oh, you want to walk? Yeah, just a little yeah. bit. You know, we just be gliding. Yeah. Sorry. You know what I'm we gonna give double honor to the apostles. Let's just go over here. We get the columns in there. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, because columns auction. Double uh, honor to the apostles, the great millstone. Salawat to the Akim. You know what I'm saying? But uh, oh yeah, I was just looking at this thing on the internet uh, from the CDC. Oh, you see how? During this coronavirus thing, everybody's saying we gotta listen to the CDC, right? Mm -hmm. Gotta listen to the CDC. We gotta listen to science, right? Because mm -hmm. what does the science say? We gotta listen to the science. We gotta listen to the Centers for Disease and Control. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! But here it is. They're trying to uh, use all this bullshit. All oh, this science. We gotta shut shit down. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has to get vaccinated. Oh, I just seen a story in the news right quick. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, oh, this is a crazy story. It said that uh, the pro the protests have caused the virus to spread even more. Did you see that? No, I didn't see that. Look at this. Because you know that's some bullshit they're saying. They're just going to say that. You know, oh, yeah. we can't. They already locked down protests up in uh, New York. New York, so let's walk this way. I ain't trying to get interrupted while I'm making a key point. Let me see if I can find that real quick. Uh, protest spread viruses. Let's see if I can pull this up. <laughs> Weirdos, man. I know, man. You know they like, what they doing over there? Uh, we make it a rap video. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is a rap video. Yeah. Look, here it is. This is from The Guardian. It says, U.S. lockdown protests may have spread virus widely. Cell phone data suggests. It said the cell phone data suggested that. So what does that tell you? They've been tracking everybody with your cell phones. Mm -hmm. And they already told you they was doing that. But it says uh, the cell phone data suggests that the protests have spread the virus. So what, what do you think that's going to mean? That means they're going to start shutting down these protests. They say, they're going to say it's illegal to protest the coronavirus because you're helping spread it. Yeah. Oh, what, what an easy way to silence dissent, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But here it is with all this coronavirus shit. You know what I'm saying? They, they shutting the whole goddamn world down over some coronavirus. But how come they didn't shut down uh, the world because of AIDS and syphilis? I want to show you something. I was looking at this. This is from the CDC, uh, Gay and Bisexual Men's Health. It says... <laughs> How is HIV spread? Now, how is this, how is HIV spread? Now, don't we want to prevent the spread of coronavirus, don't we? Mm. Do you want coronavirus? Hey, nah. I don't want coronavirus. Corona. We got to prevent the spread of coronavirus. Okay. So we got to follow science. Well, we got to wash our hands, right? Mm -hmm. You got to wash your hands. You got to wear a mask, right? Mm -hmm. To prevent the spread of coronavirus, right? Mm -hmm. So you don't, there's certain things you don't do, okay? And, and now society is shaming you if you don't do certain things to help prevent the spread of coronavirus. Okay, but how is HIV spread? In the United States, HIV is spread mainly by having sex with someone who has HIV. Really? Anal sex is the highest risk sexual behavior. Receptive anal sex, bottoming, is riskier than insertive in anal sex, topping. Let's talk about homosexuals. Okay. Vaginal sex is the second highest, right? Because it, because it's oh look at this. Having many sexual partners or having other STDs can increase the chances of getting HIV through sex. But it said the main way uh, HIV is spread is through anal sex. This is from homosexuals, and this is from the CDC. And if you go through the uh, the statistics and see who has the highest rate at HIV, AIDS, syphilis, gonorrhea, everything, is all homosexuals. Mm -hmm. Now that's what the science says, right? Mm -hmm. So now, shouldn't we be shaming these people for not following the, the guidelines? You don't have anal sex. That's going to mm -hmm. cause the spread of HIV. You know what I'm saying? Y'all acting like y'all care about the coronavirus. Got to keep it. They, people mask shaming you. Mm -hmm. 
You know, they look at, oh, you're not wearing a mask. Oh, like that lady we was just talking to. She fell back and oh, she didn't have a mask on and all this. Yeah. So they should start shaming homosexuals for having anal sex and spreading diseases. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they, they will tell you that. Uh, what's it called? <laughs> that is, is uh, pretty much love or whatever. Whatever the excuse they use. But, it, but it's like, but if somebody died in your family and they want to have a funeral, they can't have it because of the Rona shit. Yeah. But a homosexual, they can come together and, and you know, do each other in, in, the, in the butt. Get two ta- new yeah, PCs. Take that crazy risk just because he loved the person. But don't you love your family member? Don't you want to Oh, pay you want to love them? So you got to yeah. quarantine yourself? Yeah. Oh, you're like, right. You can't even see your loved ones. If someone's in a deathbed, you can't go visit them because mm-hmm. of the quarantine. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's crazy. So you said that, that tells you that this is all bullshit. That's all that's telling you. Mm-hmm. This is all bullshit. Mm-hmm. All these people, they're full of shit. You know what I'm saying? They believe anything the government is telling These people are just retarded. Mm-hmm. I'm going to get the scripture. Which one should I get? I'm going to get... Uh, oh, shoot. I got to get a Bible up. I still only got a Bible up. Well, I got... I was, I was thinking that... I might... Let me see if I can... Get that Romans one. Yeah. It said they they punished. They getting punished for what they. Yeah, that's what I was about to get actually. Oh, you got it. If I can pull it up. But yeah, them homosexuals that catch them diseases, they they got what they deserve because that's that's wicked. You know what I'm saying? If you do some wicked shit, then this what you gonna get. Shit, but, they should have yeah, the uh, the HIV tracking bracelets. Yeah. That's something you really want to know. Yeah, yeah. I give a goddamn about some yeah. coronavirus. Yeah. I wanna know who's got fucking AIDS. Yeah. You go fuck a bitch that got some goddamn AIDS? Yeah. Hey, but they they gonna do that too though. Yeah. You can see with the chip coming, they gonna have that little chip on. You gonna tell you everything wrong with you. Yeah. Yeah, cause now nowadays you can look at somebody on the or someone walk down the street, you think it's a fucking woman, and you about to go holler and shit this, this whole time. Even even if you get, you go there and get the motherfucker's number, this motherfucker won't even tell you. Some people some people won't even tell you that this person. Uh, is, is it actually a trans, a trans uh, whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah, because some of them look just like women. Yeah, because it, it was a video, on, I think it's still on YouTube, but nigga, he was, uh, he's like a woman or whatever, a trans, transformer to a woman, supposedly. Transformer? Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> and it, yeah, and then I guess the dude, <laughs> I guess the, the nigga she was dating, he was dating, she, he, he didn't tell, you getting fucked up, I keep saying she, but he didn't tell him that he's a, a, a woman. I, it's some shit like some weird shit. So he been dating her for years, and this nigga didn't know this whole time. What? That, that nigga deserved to be really put to death, put in prison, then put to death. Goddamn. How could you not know? Yeah, yeah. I guess they cut the shit off. And, oh damn! Yeah, I, oh. I, I heard they. I heard they don't cut it off. I heard they. Uh, they. Uh, they, uh, they. They make it inside out or something like that, or some shit. Then they nip a little bit off, but then they just like kind of tuck it in or something. I don't know how they do it, but man, you got to be something, man. That's some serious shit. You just take your dick and throw it away. Like, I don't need that no more. Yeah. What the fuck? That's like chopping your hand off and putting a robot hand on. Like, for what? <sighs> that's just stupid. You chopping your dick off, bro? Yeah. But that's Esau for you, though. Esau, that's what I'm saying. That's the weird shit Esau be doing. That's why he trying to go to the chip. You know what I'm saying? So he can transform his body into, like, some type of new thing. He don't like his, he don't like the creation of the most high, so he changes it. Or oh, I'm, I'm a man. I want to be a woman. Or well, I'm a man, but I want to be a uh, superhuman See, a, strength. At the same time... They, we gotta believe in science. We supposed to believe in science. Trash. Now the anus, mm-hmm. well, that, that's a, it's a uh, exit only. Yeah. The penis is a reproductive organ. Mm-hmm. The vagina, that's what they call it in science. Though I mean, that's what mm-hmm. they taught me in mm-hmm. school, bro. Mm-hmm. It's in the science books, the biology books. It's a, it had a picture of the penis. You can see to have all the parts of the penis and the balls and the testicles. You know, in the little diagrams they got, mm-hmm. and then they got the. You know, that's my favorite part in class. You get to look at the diagram of the vagina. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they showed you, and it says reproductive organs. Mm-hmm. Those are reproductive organs. That, they, that you cannot reproduce by inserting a penis into an anus. They they they, 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 they would teach people now to uh, anal sex now. That's disgusting. They, they teach you it's, it's dangerous, but, so, but just use this and use condoms and lube and whatever the fuck. But they... But at the same time, they pretty much telling you to do and it. And they worried about wearing a fucking mask at the store. Mm-hmm. But they going yeah. up in assholes getting shit on themselves. Yeah. Blood, too, because, you know, they, when you, because uh, the anus is very, what they say is they got very thin tissue or something and it bleeds easy. So mm-hmm. you're getting shit and blood all over you. Yeah. That's pretty gross, man. 
And y'all mask shaming people. Get the fuck out of here. That's that's ridiculous. Oh, this video won't get deleted. <laughs> it's gonna get if our channel finally going down. Yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> It'll be a martyr. You yeah. can make a martyr out of us. That's yeah. all. Sorry. Cause the last time we made a video about some women, we had a video. The title was kind of provocative though. That was a mistake. Sorry. The title of the video was pretty bad. It said you are women or a bunch of filthy, disgusting whores or something like that. That's just the truth though, you know. But they got that was we got a strike on that one. All right, where's we gonna start? So yeah, you really do gotta watch the titles of your videos. You can't put no wild, crazy shit in the title. It gets you deleted. Uh, where should I start? I'm going to start at Romans 1 and 22. I'm going to just read all the way down. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. Oh, going back to that science shit. They, they claim they're so wise. Oh, we following science and the statistics and the models and the projections. You know what I mean? They only, they, they only use the science when it's convenient for them, you know, when it suits their needs. They don't use the science. They don't like the science when the science contradicts their actions. They don't like that. Oh, shit. I lost it. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like the corruptible man, the birds, and four footed beasts, and creeping things. Wherefore, the Most High also gave them up to uncleanliness through the lust of their own hearts to the sun to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Oh, notice it said the Most High, uh, he gave them over to that spirit. Hey, that's proves when people say you can be born gay. Hey, that's true. The Most High, if you was homosexual, that means the Most High made you like that. Look, Romans 125, who changed the truth of the Most High into a lie and worshiped and served a creature more than the Creator who is blessed forever, Amen. For this cause the Most High gave them up to vile affections. For even their woman did change the natural use into that which is against nature. See, it's, uh, and like, but look, it said he gave them to a vile affections. <laughs> Scat sex is a vile affection. They be mm. fisting each other. Mm. That's a vile affection. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Having, doing a gang bang. That's a, even if you're doing it with a, a bunch of women, a bunch of whiz, uh, lesbian orgy, that's a vile affection. Yeah, that's the thing too, like, with the scriptures, everything that we're supposed to do has supposed to have a purpose, but a man and a man and a woman and a woman, that has no purpose, it can't, can't reproduce with that, you just, can't you just reproduce. trash. You know? Oh, they said too, because, you know, women licking, put, uh, eating ass and pussy all the time, that's pretty yeah. gross. Sorry I gotta talk like this. I don't know how else to say it. I could try to sound intelligent when I say it and use like the proper words, but yeah. come on man. Uh <laughs> yeah, but actually eating ass and pussy, I was reading articles, you know, scientific studies have shown that that you that you can get throat cancer from that. So it said a high percentage of people who have throat cancer actually got it from eating ass and pussy. Check it out. I, I oral sex. Let me look up an article real quick. Let me look it up. Because, I mean, we're using science, right? Since we're in the corona epidemic, it's time to learn about science and viruses and diseases mm -hmm. and pathogens, right? Mm. We in that spirit, right? Sure. What did I say? Uh, oral sex causes uh, throat cancer. I think Dave Mustaine just had throat cancer. He's been eating ass. <laughs> oh, well, here it is. Oral sex does not directly cause throat. Well, this is Google, though. You got to watch Google. I should have been using something else. Oral sex does not directly cause throat cancer, but it can spread HPV. You can get HPV from through oral sex. Sorry. HPV can cause precancerous changes in cells that may lead to throat cancer later on. An estimated 35% of cancers are infected with HPV. Oh, shit. Smoking and alcohol consumption further increase the risk that the HPV infection will become cancerous. So you think most people are getting throat cancer from smoking and shit. They're getting it from eating ass and eating pussy. Uh, 
Uh, where'd it go? Oh, I just, oh god, I just see some really bad pictures. Sorry. Look, listen, listen to this. Look, listen to this. This is that Romans, the first chapter. Look, the number one risk. This is from ClevelandClinic.org. The number one risk in contracting oral HPV and developing HPV-related throat cancer is having multiple oral sex partners. Dr. Prentice says, having a higher risk number of partners increases the risk for both men and women. And that's what women love to eat. You know what they like to do. Because you get on the dating profiles a lot of times nowadays, you different websites and everything. They'd be like, I don't want no men up in my inbox. You see that all the time. You know, like women only. Uh, this is from Harvard. Harvard University. HPV transmission during oral sex, a growing cause of mouth and throat cancer. So, so, are we being evil because we're telling people not to do these things? No. We're being scientific. Right? You disagree with us, you disagree with the science. <laughs> but it was a commandment from the Most High. So you're going to tell me the Most High didn't know what he was doing when he told, told you, you know what I'm saying, not to be a homosexual and that for women not to be lesbians? Because, you know, a man, a man that thinks that lesbians is the most amazing thing on the earth, you know? But, you, but why don't you, the lesbians, they're going to get throat cancer. Eating each other's, ass, you know, pussy and ass and all that. It's disgusting. You don't get throat cancer. You don't, You want throat cancer? Mm. Fuck out of here. There's a reason these laws are in the Bible. Oh, who's the ultimate scientist of the most high? Who created this creation? The most high? Y'all thought y'all knew something about the physics? Who's the one that created a lion? You know what I'm saying? Who created the giraffes? And who created us? The most high created us. You know what I'm saying? He created this whole planet, bro. The whole universe. He's the ultimate scientist. So his laws make sense. Uh, and I lost my Bible. Yeah, that's, what, that's why the Lord, when he's created, well, in Genesis 1, he said he created the heavens and the earth and so on and so forth. And he said, he said, uh, it is good. So It's good. Yeah, so the, 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 the correct order of everything should be, is, is, and it's good, but then Esau comes along and he just fucks everything up, oh man, oh I'm gonna let a woman be the headed man, or I'm gonna let two men have sex, I'm gonna have, you can have sex with a dog, you can do this, that, and the third, and now, you got nothing but shit, destruction even, around her. Even if the coronavirus is real, they, a lot of people think it actually came from a bat, cause somebody ate a bat, possibly, even, who knows bro, with that shit, you know, maybe it was created, maybe it don't exist, <laughs> so, but yeah, because that's the diet. You ain't supposed to eat bats. That's in the dietary law. You ain't supposed to eat dogs and cats. Uh, you have something else? No, you just Where changed that Romans. Romans? Go? I lost my Romans. Uh, damn it. Oh my goodness, my fault. Let me get this real quick. <laughs> I, don't, I accidentally clicked off this chapters. All right, who's uh Romans one and that's your girl. Get her on there. I see on there. I see on there. Damn. Okay. Nice. That's not bad. She looks like she's struggling running though. Yeah. Doesn't look like she does that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> this is probably the first and last day she tried that. <laughs> All right, check this out. Romans 1 and 26. For this cause, the Most High gave them up the vile affections. For even their woman did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burning their lust toward another. Men with men, mm -hmm. working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet. So that's clear, man. And that's clearly talking about homosexuals. And that's in the New Testament. It's not the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. So, and this was uh, Paul cursing people out to the church of Rome. And even as they did not like to retain the Most High in their knowledge, the Most High gave them over to a reprobate mind mm. 
he gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. That, not convenient. That shit, that, like we keep saying, <laughs> that man, man, that's, what is that going to do? What is that? That don't, that don't do nothing. It don't produce nothing. It doesn't do nothing but do yourself damage, do yourself harm. Bruh, I tell you, I, I worked at this restaurant, man, years ago, and there's this uh, gay waiter. Right? I mean, he was cool, but he was still gay. But one day, he couldn't come into work because he got his asshole exploded. He couldn't come to work because he got his asshole was exploded. He had to go to the hospital to get it repaired. Oh, God. God damn. That's fucking disgusting. That's real shit, man. That's, that's fucking disgusting. I'm not making that up. So that's a witness. Yeah, it's just people be doing weird shit. Like they even like women and men, they be doing. I mean, I, I'm I, like you said, I ain't trying to talk about nasty and shit, but how else do you they, explain it? Yeah, they be destroying us. They be doing like, some crazy. They get bored with regular sex. Yeah, and then they just like put like huge fucking objects into their. You know what I'm saying? And they destroy it, and it's all fucking loose. And it's like, what the hell is wrong? You know with why y'all doing that? Because y'all y'all was unfulfilled. Yeah, y'all spiritually empty. And you trying to you trying to fill it up your spirit up by filling up your holes. Your <laughs> yeah. That's what people do? They smoke, they drink, they have sex, and, and they can't crazy get enough. Guys. They still can't. They still ain't quenching it. They yeah. can't. Their thirst can't be quenched. One drug moves to the next. Can we hold that for you. You want to get a scripture? Oh, I'll buy you. Yeah. Make it a little easier for you. I'm just gonna switch out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But it's uh, Proverbs eight, and uh, let me see. Let me start thirty five. It says. Uh, let me start 32. It said, Now therefore hearken unto me, O ye children, for blessed are they that keep my ways. Oh, oh, hold up. Blessed are those that keep my ways. So if you keep the ways of this book, you know what I'm saying? The Lord going to bless you. Because really, man, when you think about it, you, you, when you start breaking the commandments, that's when you start getting fucked up. Actually, physically fucked up, you know? Say so you start eating pork. You, you know what I mean? You fuck around, get high blood pressure. You know what I'm saying? You catch a heart attack. You get some parasites. Getting cancer. You know, you're doing, doing all that weird sexual shit. You catching STDs. Yeah. It's uh, back to Proverbs 8 and 33. It says, Hear instruction and be wise and refuse it not. Blessed is the man that heareth me watch him daily at my gates. Blessed are the... Uh, uh, so I can wait at the post of my doors. For whoso findeth me, findeth life, and shall attain favor of Yahweh. Oh, whoso findeth me, findeth life. All right, so this is life. So that's why these people, they, they don't have life. They got death. Oh, just like they thirsty. Oh, that's, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They, they, what's that? They dehydrate. These people out here, they dehydrated. But we got that, that uh, like that scripture said, he said, if you drink of this cup, You'll never thirst again. So these people really, they, they empty. They dry. That's why they had to go to different religions and shit. They got to they go, they go to uh, Islam, but they have to go to Buddha and shit like that and add all this shit together. But we don't think we need the scriptures. That's all the thing we need. All the instructions of life is all in the scriptures. We don't need anything else. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times you hear Jake, too. He's like, I believe in my own thing. Yeah. They just make up their own beliefs. Yeah. I'm just making shit up. Yeah. <laughs> it says, but he that sinneth against me uh, wrongeth his own soul. See, he that sinneth against me wrongs his own soul. Yeah. So, I mean, keeping the commandments is there to protect you, actually. They're there for your well-being. Oh, the wisdom of the wise is the welfare of the world. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. Esau, this nigga, he, he, he got no limits. He's just saying everybody just... Do whatever, pretty much do what the fuck you want. And then so now you got people dumping shit in the water and, 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 and polluting the air. But according to the scriptures, the Lord said we ain't, we ain't supposed to pollute the earth. And, so they, then, and they worried about you wearing a fucking mask. Yeah. 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 God damn. May you ever leave Columbus, just go like an hour out of Columbus, and then come back. You can't even breathe because of all the pollution. I've seen them from stars. It was like that was I've never seen so many damn stars in my life. But you come to the city, can't see you, nothing. You probably see like a hundred stars. But you go out out of the city, to the country, whatever the case is, 
You see fucking millions of stars. That shit was crazy. I was like, God damn. Hey, Watch. they really don't want people looking up anyway. Yeah. Cause you know, stargazing ain't really a thing no more. You know, back in the ancient world, everybody was stargazing. Yeah. You know, people, you know, you was hip on all the constellations and you could, people was aware that chariots was flying around. But you think about it, nobody even looks at the sky hardly the stars. They just, they just don't even think twice about it. Like every time I can see the stars, I get caught looking at them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? See, we was at Slaves, we was looking up, seeing yep. that uh, swing low, sweet chariot. You know what I'm saying? Especially at that time, because we used to You can see the sky clearly. Yeah. But Lord said, look up, your redemption draws night. The st stars yeah. be so bright, they give light. Yeah. So you can see at night. Sorry. It says, uh, I think I read this part, it says, all oh, they that hate me love death. Yeah. Oh, they hate me, love death. That's 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 plain. They love man. oh. The uh, I think man, I seen this one uh from the CDC too. I ain't gonna look it up. I could, but I think they said the act the homosexuals have a have a smaller uh, average lifespan than other people, than other demographics. Yeah, you because know, all the STDs and shit. Yeah. So so they ended up dying sooner than everybody else. And the same thing with anything else, too. Say you commit adultery. What's going to happen if you commit adultery? You go fuck another man's wife. Then he catches you. Then he blows your head off with a shotgun. Because that's really the most high to blew your head off with a shotgun. You know what I'm saying? Just like O.J. Simpson. When uh, with that bi uh, bitch Nicole Simpson was fucking with Ron Goldman. The most high put the spirit on O.J. and he killed him. He killed him. You know what I'm saying? And that was their punishment. They they wasn't committing adultery, cause her last name was Simpson. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's adultery. So that's the spirit. The Most High, it have you put to death for committing adultery. Or just like simple shit. Hey, if you get if you go up in the stores fucking stealing, you get caught and go to jail. Hey, that's the Most High punishing you. You know what I'm saying? And if the cops don't get you, the most high still going to get you. You know what I mean? He's still going to get you. People think that, oh, I got away with it. You ain't get away with nothing. It says, uh, it's got Proverbs 3 and uh, verse 21. It says, talking about wisdom, it says, uh, My son, let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep sound wisdom and discretion. So shall they be life unto thy soul and grace to thy neck. Uh, then shall thou walk in thy way safely, and thy foot shall not stumble. Uh, yeah. yeah, so you're walking, following his word, you're going to be. That's, how, that's, that's the instruction book, man. You know what I'm saying? How you going to play the game if you don't know how it's supposed to be played? You're going to die. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're playing a video game, you don't even know what you're doing. Yeah, exactly. You're just dying left and right. Buttons and yeah. Shit. Somebody's whooping your ass and shit. <laughs> you don't know none of the moves or nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You didn't read the instructions. Yeah, let me see you play Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat without following the instructions, bro. You're finished. <laughs> uh, when we go back to that Romans? Yeah, my father just needs this, bro. Yeah, go ahead. This is uh, Sirach 20, I mean, Sirach 32 and uh, uh, 324. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, 24. He that believeth in the Lord taketh heed to the commandment, and he that trusteth in him shall fare never the worse. So you keep the commandments, trust in the Lord, you ain't going to, uh, what they say, fare well. You're going to fare well. Fare well. You ain't going to fare never the worse. I always like that word, fare well. Yeah, 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 it's nice, it's nice. That's why I say goodbye, like, fare well. Because yeah. you hoping that they fare well. Yeah. People, the people don't even talk like that no more. They just say bye. All right, my nigga. Oh. Uh, but I right, then. Yeah, I see you. All right. All right, though. What does that even mean? I right, I do that shit all the time. <laughs> yeah, I do too. Yeah. But what does that even mean? I right, then. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Did Jake come up with a whole new language? Yeah. This shit don't even make sense. We co we call good things bad. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you wanna hold this for a second? Yeah. Before I read this, just make sure you don't hit that that uh thing. I'm gonna just go through this part right here. Uh, actually, I'm gonna just go to Romans 1:28. And even talking about the Sodomites, and even as they did not like to retain the Most High in their knowledge, the Most High gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which is not convenient. 
being filled with all unrighteousness. This is talking about these, these people out here, bro. They filled with all unrighteousness, mm -hmm. fornication. Mm. You know, forno. It comes from the Greek word porneo. That's where you get the word porno. Yeah. What's the most popular website in the world besides? I bet Pornhub is in the top ten. Yeah. Hey, you want to look that up? Yeah. The top web's the top. <laughs> yeah. What, what's that site called where you can look up the top sites? I know, especially during the damn quarantine, everybody watching that shit now. That's the motherfucker. I see, they, it was in the news that Pornhub was getting out uh, a free premium membership. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. That's crazy. Now people got that, what's the shit called? Bitches be making videos, paying, what's it, uh, 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 fan only shit? Oh, that fucking fan only. Oh, you a goddamn simp. Yeah. If you a goddamn <laughs> simp, if you give money to a fan only bitch. Yeah. You give it this bitch money, you ain't getting heads, you ain't getting nothing. Nothing. You ain't getting nothing but God. Mm -hmm. Fucking simps, bro. We in the age of simping. But actually, you know, I'm going to say this, though. A lot of the youth, the, a lot of young, mm -hmm. even younger than you and I coming mm -hmm. up, mm -hmm. they, they, they getting hip to this simping shit. <laughs> they getting hip to these hoes and these whores, and they ain't having it. I've noticed that about mm -hmm. the youth. Mm -hmm. the, the youth is rising up, son. <laughs> <laughs> And that's why you see most of the brothers are coming to the troops is what, they're young. Yeah. They're young. Yeah. There ain't too many old heads coming up in here. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong if you're an old head, though, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You'd be happy that you got that truth. Yeah. Because really, ain't none of us old. We all young. Yeah. You even notice about that, too, though? In mm -hmm. the spirit, we all young. Mm -hmm. Even if you have a 70-year-old brother in the truth, he'd be young. He got that young spirit. Yeah. It's like we all young, but we are old because... Really, we all have been... Infinite. Yeah, really? yeah, really, yeah. So, really, it's like, really don't got no age, because we yeah. just die, and we live, and then die, come back, reincarnation. Yeah, so, it's really... It's a cycle of life. We just, we just is, and I'm like, what like you, you know, like a... Hey, that's why you how shy said that. Oh, uh, yeah. It's like, yeah. Because, really, we are, we part of the most high. The yeah. most high, because we, we come from the most high. Yeah. That's why when we die, we return to the Father. Yeah. Our spirit returns to the Father. Yeah. Alexa top sites. Let's check this out. We doing research today. <laughs> Investigative reports. Yeah. Oh, Pornhub ain't even the top ten. But it'd be a top ten though. That'd be pretty impressive. I don't even know what any of these websites are. Damn, I ain't checked this in a minute. I don't look like no, no uh, porns in the top ten. Hmm. A bunch of other foreign countries, a bunch of Chinese shit. Oh well, you know that's all people do. They spend all day long watching fucking porn. Mm -hmm. Ain't even getting people. People ain't getting real girlfriends no more. They have new girlfriends, Pornhub. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or Instagram. No, I gotta watch porn no more. They can watch Instagram. Oh yeah, Instagram. nasty bitches on there. My friend was showing me that shit. I was like, ah, damn, these bitches are some hoes. Oh, they're dancing and stretching and doing all these crazy exotic shit. Like, ah, damn, bitch. You even got old bitches on there like Granny's doing it. They're getting in on an action. Like, well, I might as well. I was just having fun. Granny got her ass all up in the yeah. camera shaking it. I what still, the fuck, I still man? got it. Hey, I still yeah. got it. Oh, shit. Yeah, shit. I mean, you can see all up in the ass cracking everything, man. You can gnash that bitch. Oh, come on, man. And they, and they, and they be having on their uh, Facebooks and too. And like the whole family can see the videos. Yeah, like, you realize yeah. That's nasty, man. Your aunt, uncle, sisters, everybody can see this. You know that, right? That's nasty. Whore. That's, man, I got this one scripture. Hold on. Everyone hold that for you? Yeah, real quick, real quick. Got this one. Let me see if I can. Got a member house. Hold it. Uh. <laughs> Don't take too long. I can read a little bit. That's why you're getting it. Uh -huh. Romans 1 and 29 says, Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whispers. Oh, that's the worst of them all is the goddamn whispers. You know how people talking shit behind your back and 
motherfuckers always plotting on you. The women especially. The 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 was that the conversation of the wives? You be married to a woman, all of her friends are like, oh, you need to leave that motherfucker out there teaching the Bible, looking crazy. Look, backbiters, haters of the Most High. And all these people, they hate the Most High. Despiteful, proud, boasters. Oh, they boasters. We are, we've been going into that, boasters. Everybody got the, the spirit. They the greatest, unstoppable, you know what I'm saying? Inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents. You see how people treat it. People really don't have parents. They got a mother. They got a single mother. <laughs> they got a mother and a father. It'll be dis These little children are disobedient as hell. Look, without understanding. These fools out here got zero understanding. Covenant breakers. Without natural affection. Implacable. Oh, dude, these hoes, they ain't got no natural affection. Just like, what's that one scripture in Jeremiah? Not Jeremiah. Uh, Lamentations. They're talking about how the daughter of Israel is cruel. The daughter of my people is cruel or something. Even the sea monsters draw out their breasts. So it said a sea monster got more compassionate for his children than the daughters of Israel. Look. Without understanding covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, um, unmerciful. These people out here is unmerciful. Who knowing the judgment of the Most High, that they which commit such things are worthy or... Ooh, look. Who knowing the judgment of the Most High, and we just went through the thing. It, it, this thing started off by, he was talking about the homosexuals, right? And the lesbians. It says, who knowing the judgment of the Most High, that they which commit such things are worthy of death. Not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. Oh, he said not only they, but because you got these people who are out here doing this and they have pleasure doing it. So it says y'all worthy of death. Ooh, that's the end of Romans, the first chapter. So it said they're worthy of death. But you people say, oh, how can you say homosexuals are worthy of death? That's evil. Jesus would never say that. <laughs> he said love everybody. Romans, I mean, Luke 13 says, the Lord himself said, you say, repent or perish. Repent or perish? Yeah. Yeah, so if you're doing some old weird shit, bro, you need to, if it's possible, repent. I mean, if you've done anything, you should repent. If you don't kill somebody, you ain't, you could have got caught, maybe you didn't get caught. But the most high seen it. You know what I'm saying? You should repent. You can be forgiven of all them sins. That's crazy. You actually forgive it if you kill somebody. You know what I mean? This is uh, Sirach 41 and 17. Cause he said people they be doing that horror shit, and, and uh, like everybody, the whole family can see it. They post it online. Everybody can see it and shit. This is uh, Sirach 41 and 17. Be ashamed of whoredom before father and mother. <laughs> yeah. Be ashamed of whoredom before father and mother. They, they got no shame out here, man. Yeah. I mean, just the standard dress code for a woman consists of hoardemery. I mean, the standard dress code in 2020 is what? Tight-ass black pants where you can see the butt crack, the camel toe, and everything. And they're wearing some little short top, and you can see the titties and everything. They leave nothing to the imagination at all. You know exactly what she's working with. Do that shit right in front of their fucking parents. That shit is disgusting. It's just like, you know, like, you was a kid or whatever. You, you know, you cuss. You know what I'm saying? You kid. But you get in front of your parents, you know, you, you would refrain from that shit. Even I, today, I still don't. You about to say something? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't do that either. Yeah, like, yeah. even around just uh, people, the generation before me, in period, like, yeah, in general. Because yeah. <laughs> they, they was raised different. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, the generation ahead of me, yeah. I still be calling them sir and shit. But, like, you know, showing respect. I don't cuss around them. I watch my language. That was, if y'all gonna believe that. If I watch you watch your language on the videos. <laughs> Cause you just don't want to upset people. 
they, they just don't give a fuck. But this is our platform right here, yeah. not yours. Yeah. Like, cause you go up to somebody else's house and stuff, you know, you gotta respect that house. Unless they some demons. Then you curse the house. Okay, I think I found it. Hold on. Did you just read 2 Timothy? Nah. Oh, okay, okay, cool, cool. So 2 Timothy 2, I mean 3, and uh, it's going to start at 1. It says, This know also that in the last days, uh, perilous, perilous, god damn, times, perilous, perilous, times shall come. For men shall be lovers of them own selves, uh, cov covetous, uh, boasters, proud, blasphemers. Blasphemers. Yeah, lovers of them. <laughs> lovers of them own selves. That's satanic. Mm -hmm. Loving of your own selves. Don't look at that. You know what I mean? That's the spirit of Cain. Mm -hmm. Cain. What did Cain say? He's like, what? Am I my brother's keeper? You know what I'm saying? That's that's the spirit of Satan. That's how most of these fools is. And that's really what they teach. Was that survival of the fittest? Mm -hmm. Every man for himself. Shit, that's the spirit of America. Lovers of themselves. Yeah, niggas. Fucking rappers get they get rich and shit, and then they start making fun of people. Even though they was been they been poor themselves before, yeah. they get money and then be like, "Oh, you broke niggas, y'all don't speak my language. Fuck y'all broke ass niggas." But it, scripture says you supposed to give to the poor. But them niggas they move up to the highest, you know, highest status in the world, and they just say fuck their people pretty much. Shit, there's this new shit going on. I this thing they've been talking about it amongst the anti simp community. Mm. <laughs> But there's a lot of women out there who won't even date a man unless you have an iPhone. They'll call you broke. They say you a bum if you got an Android and they can't fuck with you. You gotta have an iPhone. I hate iPhones. Like, what the fuck? I mean, just dumb ass shit, bro. These people is trash. A bunch of simple ass pea brain idiots. Especially the woman. Yeah, that's fucking stupid. That's just beyond fucking stupid. That's what I said. Because you know the woman would definitely, she's definitely going to look at you if you just using Wi-Fi. you just like, just like uh, I, I'll look that up later. Yeah. The woman would look at you like you trash if you ain't, if you on Wi-Fi. If you ain't got a phone plan. Yeah. That's messed up, man. Yeah. Uh, I was about to say something. Fuck, I forgot. Oh, yeah, people be doing that dumbass shit. They be, as soon as the fucking new phone come out, they just bought the damn phone. It's the old phone, but as soon as the new phone come out, they buy that shit, it's fucking $1,000. And then it's just fucking stupid. It's new shit, it's new shit each and every year. Like, man, God for $1,000, you can you can build your own badass gaming computer. You know what I'm saying? It's like people that do that shit and buy them expensive-ass shit, it's like they're the ones that's really broke because... Hey, they, yeah, they you got all that shit. Yeah, spending all that shit on that expensive shit. We spending shit... That really makes us happy. You don't need fucking money to make you happy. I mean, That's of course, and money will answer our thing, but we don't need expensive, crazy shit to make hell us nah. happy. We just need the scriptures and, you know. Shit, all the rich people always say the money don't make them happy. Yeah. That's, yeah. oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. Sorry. That's what I was telling my son, though, about, uh, because they might get jealous of somebody because they got a nicer car than us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My son might wish I was driving something better. I got a little hoopty. You know what I mean? But I tell him, you see everybody that's driving them nice-ass cars, you think they got money. No, they all broke as fuck. They driving around in a nice car broke as fuck. Yeah. All that, we, we know how much people is making out here, mm -hmm. okay? If you got a nice 20, a 2020 vehicle, bro, you're broke. All your money's going to that fucking car. And then you got rent, then insurance, and all. Yeah, you broke. You ain't got shit. Unless you a rich Edomite. But if you a Jake from the hood, you ain't got shit. You driving something unless you a drug dealer. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people do. They, they don't. They don't own that shit. They, oh, they'll, they'll, they'll lease it. They'll lease it too. Yeah. So it's they like, say, even if you leasing, you still broke. Yeah. That shit ain't ch cheap either. Yeah, you gotta make payments every goddamn month. All that shit going to your to your car, then going to your rent, then going to your goofy ass phone that you got. Yep. Yeah, why you mess with them damn birds, man? Leave them birds alone, bitch. And but, people uh, wonder why them birds attack them. You know, nature is intelligent. Mm -hmm. 
The most high creation is intelligent. It'll fuck you up when you get out of line. It's uh, Proverbs 24. I might go back to that Timothy in a minute, but it's uh, Proverbs 24. And, uh, hold on. Yeah, 24 and 19 says, Fret not thyself because of evil men, neither be thou envious at the wicked, for there shall be no reward to the evil man. There will be no yeah. reward to the evil man. Yes, sir. Yeah, don't be envious of these wicked people. All right, there's another one too. In the Apocrypha says, "Don't be if something like that. Don't be envious because you don't know what the end of him is going to be." Mm -hmm. I think this says something like that too. I yeah, think. Uh, I think so. Hold on, let me see. Uh, for there shall be no be war to the evil man. The candle of the wicked shall be put out. Who? Yeah. Uh, my son, fear thou Yahweh and the king, and meddle not with them that are given to change, for the calamity shall rise suddenly. Who knows the ruin of them both? Yeah, you gotta watch out, people. Just giving the change. Yeah. And it's like, cause all these like, like a lot of like, think about all these celebrities. Shit, they like Michael Jackson. These niggas, niggas fucking famous. He's mad famous. Like, everybody love him. But look at his end. He had a fucking horrible end. Terrible end. He died young as hell yeah. in his fifties. Yeah. Same with Prince. They get killed him. Look at all the famous people. We go down the list with that. What the age of they all died? Jimi Hendrix died young. Kurt Cobain, young as fuck. Tupac, look at Tupac. Now they gonna say all oh, Tupac was righteous. He wasn't righteous when he made that song, Hit Him Up, talking about I fucked your wife. That's that's not righteous. You gonna tell me that's in accordance with the scriptures? So really, he was a wicked man. No matter how much you like Tupac, you gotta admit he was a wicked man. Mm -hmm. He was a demon. And the most high put him to death. Why you shouldn't be jealous of them people because they, they might get rich. Even Esau, let's because that motherfucker he's the top top right now. The so called elites, they got all these rich. They got the whole fucking earth pretty much in their control. You can't be jealous of that because then they going into slavery. The end? Yeah, what's the end? <laughs> they're in this fucking slavery. The whole earth is gonna truly hate. This. They already doing it right now, but they're gonna really truly hate this nigga. So you don't want that end. So that's why you should never side with that nigga because if you side with him, you are gonna get his punishment. A scripture say the meek's gonna inherit the earth. Oh, that says right there, don't it? Come on. This, that's the spirit. This is Psalm 37. It says that down there, but I'm, I'm going to start up a, a yeah, one. Yeah. That's the spirit, man. That's the spirit. It says, fret not thyself because of evil doers. Ye, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Trust in Yahweh and do good, so shall thou dwell in the land. And verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in Yahweh, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. And commit thy way unto Yahweh, just also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as a light, and thy judgment as a noonday. Rest in Yahweh, and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospers in his ways, because of the man who bringeth wicked vices, the vices to pass. Okay, cease from anger, and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil, for evildoers shall be cut off. But those that wait upon Yahweh, they shall inherit the earth. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yea, thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight him to themselves in the abundance of peace. Yeah. What scripture was that? Psalm 37. Yeah, 37. Yes, sir. I'm going to look up that word real quick. Yeah. The meek shall inherit the earth. Right, because the meek, you got to have a meek and lowly spirit. It really can say the scripture says it's gonna give us our heart's desire, but what hey, what what should your heart's desire be? Yep. Does that mean in the kingdom your heart's desire? <laughs> first, see the first thing that comes to a simple motherfucker's mind, their heart's desire is a a Ferrari, a Lamborghini, mansions, mm -hmm. jewels, bitches, bitches. That's a simple motherfucker's heart's desire. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? First of all, we want that wisdom and knowledge. That's the first mm -hmm. and foremost. Mm -hmm. You want to know it all. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You want to know those mysteries. Hey, that's the, that's the real heart's desire. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Get all the answers to all the mysteries. Yeah. To live on a clean planet. Yeah. To live on a place where we ain't got to go to <laughs> fucking work every goddamn day. Yes, sir. You just live your life in fucking peace. Mm -hmm. Chilling. We should be relaxing right now. Like yeah. kicking it. Birds, you know what I'm saying? You listen to the birds. We just chill. You ain't in no yeah. rush. Yeah. And now yeah. we're we in a rush. Yeah. We always in a rush. We yeah. can't just chill the fuck out and just enjoy shit. Always in a goddamn rush. Yeah. 
know what I mean? Oh, I gotta, I gotta go work. Oh, I gotta go wash my clothes. Oh, I gotta go this. I gotta pick right, up this person. Right, in the person. kingdom, I'll be able to go sleep under a tree for a week if I wanted to. Yeah. Just chilling. You know what I mean? Yeah. I ain't in no rush. Right. You, you can fucking, you know, you can, even if, like, even if you have to be somewhere, you can fucking teleport there. Or you can just move so fast that you dare, yeah. you know, whatever, you know? Hey, we're gonna have, that's, we're gonna have teleportation abilities. Yeah. It would be like Nightcrawler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and that's, it's like, it's like, it's look at this uh, analogy, whatever the case, whatever the hell it's called. When you, you see, if you, if people, if somebody give you a choice between, what, what's one of the most famous cars, what, a Ferrari and a... Ferraris, oh, Lambos, Bugattis. Yeah, yeah that, that shit. Get now, my Bugatti. <laughs> now, if somebody gave you a choice, I'll give you this Bugatti, or I'm going to give you this piece of shit, 2000 or 1998 whatever the fuck but this car this 1998 car it doesn't it never will break down but this ferrari whatever the hell it's called it would it will break down in, in, in like two weeks Wh which one would you choose would you choose something that's never going to break down even though it may look like shit right or would you choose something that that's all famous and then and, and, and jurors and shit yeah it, it it's gonna like, break down on you oh yeah that's a good you know metaphor that? for a lot of things because that's, that's that's the kingdom because right now the kingdom don't really look too good for people in the world Cause we out here wearing fucking uh, garments and yep. looking crazy, and believing so-called believing in something that we don't believe uh, that we can't see. It doesn't look good to the people in the world. These people in the world, they look at shit in the world, and that looks good to them. So they just they believe in that shit. They only like something to look shiny yeah. and nice. But that shit ain't gonna last forever, though. You know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna last forever. That shit gonna last for just for, for shit. Now we don't got we don't got much time left. You know what I'm saying? You done spend all that money on that iPhone and all these different bitches. All that shit gonna be destroyed. Pointless. Worthless. Vanity. You know vanity of vanity, said the preacher. All is vanity. Uh, Psalm, Psalm, I mean, not Psalms. Yes. Wait, Ecclesiastes. You know what I'm saying? That's why, that's why King Solomon, when he became king, when he was about to become king, he didn't pray, oh, Lord, give me my enemies. Give me, give me all the riches in the world. Give me everything. Yeah, he prayed for his wisdom and knowledge. Yeah, because he understood that wisdom is gonna endure forever. You understood? If, if I have wisdom, then we ain't never we, we ain't gonna never suffer. You know what I'm saying? But of course, you know he went off and then you know, whatever, whatever. But he understood those things. But if you don't have wisdom, you might have fun, you might have pleasure. But that shit ain't gonna last for long. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, what is pleasure? Ain't no fucking yeah. pleasure out yeah. here. Only pleasure you really get, I mean. Really, making these videos, that's pleasure. You get in the spirit, you make that fire video, you in the spirit, that's pleasure. I mean, you barely even get any pleasure with these bitches out here. A lot of times, you know what I mean? You think, oh, it's going to be the greatest thing. I get to have sex with this girl. She and bad. after it's done, you're like, man. She cold. You're like, man. <laughs> yeah. It's like. She trash. Thought it would be better. This is all trash. Yeah. This whole world is trash. Yeah. The people in it's trash. That's why, that's why King Solomon, he said, like, of mirth, what what do it for? What's the fucking point? What's that? Uh, Ecclesiastes 2? He, yeah. went, he went to go drink wine and shit, have fun. He said, what's the fucking point? This shit, shit is worthless. Like, what the hell? You go, you might go to an event. Somebody invites you over to come chill at somebody's house. They over there drinking. You have your fun. You might have fun, whatever the case is. And the next day, you, you in fucking work. So what's the damn point? Like, what the hell? The car breaks down the next day. And all that shit, all that fun, you forgot all about it because now you going through some bullshit. That's why in the kingdom, it's going to be continually uh, uh, happiness throughout forever. Ain't going to never, the shit ain't going to never run out. Okay. We're going to live in a peaceful, happy world. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I'm going to look that up. I'm going to type in the kingdom. The kingdom. Kingdom. Oh shit. Huh? Is that dying? Oh no, I was just oh. looking at them bees. Oh, well, here's one right here. Well, Mark 4 and 11. And he, see it, and he said unto them, It is unto you, unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of the Most High, but unto them that are without, all these things are done in parables. So we know the mysteries of the kingdom, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 
These fools out here, they wasn't giving no mysteries. But it doesn't speak about the how does it say the kingdom in the book of Psalms? Uh, I'll just type in kingdom. If I type in kingdom, I'm gonna get a billion scriptures. Let's see what we find. Hot out here, boy. It's about to be a tornado or something today. Sure. All this heat and all this, all these clouds. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, ah, this is. I knew I'd get some fire scriptures. Psalms 45 and 6. Let me type that up. Psalms 45 and 6 says, uh, ooh. Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. The scepter of thy kingdom is a right scepter. Mm -hmm. See? The scepter of the kingdom, that's a right scepter. There's going to be righteousness in the kingdom. We're going to follow the laws in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. There ain't going to be no bullshit like out here. You can homosexuals getting married. Oh, God. You can get abortions. Well, you already, adultery is legal. There's no punishment for adultery. Pedophilia. Yeah. This place is disgusting. Michael fucking chips and shit. Oh, yeah, they're defending and playing everybody with microchips. Oh, that Psalm 72 is pretty good. Talking about the Lord bringing peace and. All right, let me get that. Let me read this next one, then I'll get that. Psalms 45 and 7. Thou lovest righteousness and hatest wickedness. Therefore, God, thy God, hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellow. What does that say? Mm -hmm. What does that say? Hold up. Let me read that in Hebrew. That's one of them scriptures. Sorry. You didn't hear what that said? Mm -hmm. Look. Thou lovest righteousness and hatest wickedness. Therefore, God, thy God, hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. What's that talking about? Mm -hmm. Why is there two gods right there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's why I, that's the, why I preached that Psalms 110. Yeah, them, them Old Testament Christians hate them motherfucking. That, uh, that, uh, not motherfucking, but they hate that scripture. Cause they, that's, that's what you're talking about, how you shy. Yep, you know what I'm then it says he's supposed to, uh, he said to worship him and stuff. So, yeah, they, they hate that one. I remember we read that to that one dude, that one Old Testament only dude that said he don't believe in the Lord or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, he read that. He was like, ooh. It's all tripping and shit. You know what I'm saying? Which one did we read to him? We read that one. Oh, yeah, Psalms 110. The, yeah, then The Lord said unto the, my Lord. Yeah, yeah. 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 So that just goes right over people's heads. Why is there two gods? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, what did you say, Psalm 72? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, how shy is all through the scriptures. 72, and uh, where should we start? Uh, yep, let's just go all the way through it. It's not that long at all. Psalm 72 and 1. Give the king thy judgments, O power, and give thy righteousness unto the king's son. He shall judge thy people with righteousness and thy poor with judgment. Oh, the poor people ain't judged with judgment out here, are they? They treat it like shit. Yes, sir. They throw, lock them up in prison. You feed your scraps. You work the little servant, menial servant jobs. You don't stand a chance in this world if you grow up poor. Oh, they'll be like in America, though. Yeah. It's the American <laughs> dream. If you work hard uh, enough, you can be successful. Shit, the fucking poor people are the hardest workers. Exactly. These motherfuckers is laboring. Yeah. They, I do some construction work, bro. That shit is not easy. Yeah. And it does. It's not even that big of a payoff. Yeah. yeah. Unless yeah. you got your contractor's license. You know how much it costs to get a contractor's license? Nope. Ten stacks. Because <laughs> you gotta get bonded and insured. Get at least shit. ten G's, bro. It's not easy. They make it hard and out of reach for people to, you know, to do shit like this. Mm -hmm. to, they, they said it, they set rules up like that just to make sure that the poor people stay poor. Yeah. It's like when every once in a while somebody will make it out of the ghetto. That's that's what you call an anom an, an anomaly. <laughs> that's an anomaly. Uh, that's a, what do you call that? A blip in the matrix. Sorry. A glitch in the matrix. Shit. Mm. That's like that Master P song. It's like trying to make it out of the ghetto. Uh. <laughs> so what the you know that song? <laughs> nah. Oh, that's my shit. <laughs> Yeah, everybody trying to make it out of the ghetto. Ain't nobody making it out of the ghetto. Mm -hmm. You made it from the west side to the east side. Sorry. You know, from one ghetto to the next. Yeah. And you thought you came up because you moved into a nicer ghetto. Mm -hmm. uh, 
The mountains shall bring peace to the people in the little hills by righteousness. And the mountains, that's what I'm talking about the Israelites. That's going to be the kingdom of heaven. The mountains is like a kingdom. He shall judge the poor of the people. He shall, actually to the mountains, what? The chariot is going to look like a mountain when they come out the sky. Look, he shall judge the poor of the people. He shall save the children of the needy. He shall break in pieces the oppressor. Oh, what does that sound like? If you read this scripture, bro, next to America and read this scripture, who's that talking about? That's talking about the Israelites. He shall judge the poor of the people. He shall save the children of the needy and shall break in pieces the oppressor. So Esau going to get broken into pieces. America going to get broken into pieces. They shall fear thee as long as the sun and moon endure throughout all generations. That's talking about the elect of Israel. He shall come down like rain upon the mown grass as showers that water the earth. In his days shall the righteous flourish mm. in the abundance of peace so long Ooh. as the moon endureth. Yes, sir. Right, this is a good song. I like to nice to read, uh, sing this one in Hebrew. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cause I see you know how, how you know how the songs got like how it repeats and stuff. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah, it's just smooth. Yeah. It's smooth. Yeah. He shall have dominion also from sea to sea and from mm. the river from the ends of the earth. <laughs> he's like, oh. hey, man, <coughs> yeah, hey, man, brother, preach, brother, preach, yeah, yeah, preach, yeah. preach, brother. Go ahead, Deacon. And we was out on the streets before they started doing that. You remember that? Was no. you out there one day? The dude was doing that. Oh, we was, we was getting it in. Dude was out there. I preach, brother. Say, say it how it is. <laughs> okay, I can't remember. Say, like, come on with it. Come on, come on. Uh, that's it. <laughs> that's the spirit of Jake, though. Who else? You. This proves who the real Israelites are. What other race of people out there, so-called race of people, do you know that when scriptures are read, they get so excited they start yelling out, "Hallelujah!" Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Who else does that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, see, yeah. the white people don't do that shit yeah. unless they, you know, like me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's Jake. You know, that's, he, that's Jake's spirit. Yeah, Jake. Look, look at Jake's songs. They got the little nigga in the background. <laughs> like, yeah, he be, what's the shit called? The, uh, the ad libs, whatever the fuck. That shit goofy as fuck. The dude be rapping, like, yeah, I'm gonna come up. I can't even do it. That, but that you proves know to the real about. Israelite yeah. sisters, the book of Psalms, the yeah. biggest book in the Bible. Because when you even hear the word soul music and gospel music, mm -hmm. the first image that pops in your mind is Israelites, so-called black people. Because mm -hmm. they the ones that's known for soul music and gospel music. Yeah. Okay, when well, you look at all the gospel, all the famous gospel singers, they all, what, do, what do they look like? You tell me. You know what I'm saying? That proves who the Israelites are. Yeah, there is. From Sam Cooke. <laughs> Yes, sir, your boy. I'll see your boy, Bob your Marley. Your boy, yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, oh, Bob Marley, father was white, though. I guess he an Edomite. Oh, he an Edomite, no. He an Edomite. That <laughs> man, Jay. Oh, shit, I thought she was about to get fucked up. She was about to, she kept going. She was like, oh, he saw him right down that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. Shit. But yeah, it's like, bro, like, it's like, you look at Jake, especially back in the old days, now Jake is bugging. But even still, some Jake still be even though they yeah, going I mean, fuck off, but they don't mix be... in loving the Most High with yeah. I fucked your bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, I, yeah. Thank God I'm I'm rich now, and they be doing that shit. But like, back in the day, most definitely they was they was really into that, to the Lord, you know, praising yeah. the Lord in the song and stuff like that. But now they kind of, but still, that's so. Jake is he got that zeal, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Esau, he's just a weirdo. He don't know what the hell he got going on. Esau can't even sing. Yeah. To begin with. Yeah. Disney songs and shit. He can't sing, but he owns a fucking record label. Yeah. You know, he said some Disney songs. Yeah. Well, some new Disney songs be fired up. Yeah, it's like, so. Hey, hey, hey. I know, you know, my shit's not Disney, but I ain't gonna get into it. <laughs> oh, people gonna make fun shit. of me, but I ain't gonna. <laughs> yeah, some of them car animated movies got some good music, though. Yeah, I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Some, nice music. some, some of that shit kinda lit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I like the, uh, the dude. The little, he was a Jake dude that did the voice for the, the Lion King creature when they sang one of the, uh, I was just read an article in the news, but it was, a, it was an Israelite who did the voice for one of them characters on the Lion King. I think he did, did he do the voice for Simba? I gotta look it up. Simba was the, uh, Oral Jones, or Earl Jones nigga. No, the, the, when he was a little kid, I think. Oh, that's Simba. I'm, I'm thinking about Masasa. 
Yeah, little nigga. I gotta look it up. I just heard it on the news the other day, but anyway, he was talking about how uh, he got royalties from it and he made millions of dollars off. But that was Jake, you know, singing Saudi. all the Disney songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saudi. What about your boy Justin Timberlake? It's like. Just yeah, stand. Edomite, right? Just stand. That's your boy. Ain't Justin Bieber an Edomite? I don't, I don't listen to that motherfucker. I appreciate Jake. I don't know. I was just fucking yeah. with you, though. Yeah. According to, I'm just trying to yeah. stay on good terms with the. Yeah. So the black Hebrew is like, yeah. it's like, nah. My nigga Phil Collins is like, I don't give a fuck nobody shit. say. No, I don't give a damn. Your... Hey, that's my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Your boy got skills. <laughs> fucking Tarzan. I remember that shit. You were singing that shit. That shit hard. I don't give a fuck Tarzan. nobody say. You remember him singing? You remember singing the songs? On Tarzan? Yeah. A movie? <laughs> yeah, it is an old one. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, like, yeah, like 20 I didn't know I, he did Tarzan. Yeah. I know Elton John did uh, The City of Gold. You seen that? Elder Rock? I don't, oh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I seen that. Elton, J- Elton John's an Israelite. He's Sorry. a gay ass Israelite. <laughs> you show me who Trash. else can. He plays the piano as good as God and sings at the same time, like good as the best of them. Sorry. You know what I mean? That's a yeah. bad dude right there. Trash. <laughs> gay as hell. Yeah. yeah, so Israel's scattered among all nations, so you can't be judging people just by skin color. Mm-hmm. I think that's what we was trying to say. Yeah. People get confused, they watch the videos. Yeah. You know, if the Lord ain't give you the truth, you get confused. Mm-hmm. Like, we'll tell people all oh, year that the Lord is a so-called black man, the Israelites in the Bible is black. And they, you know, we'll say the Edomites is white people. And we'll tell them the Edomites is going into slavery. According to the scriptures, all the Edomites is going to be destroyed. And they automatically think we're saying that all, every last person that looks like a white person is going to be destroyed. They don't understand. Like Vocab Malone, he still don't get it. <laughs> As many times you try to explain it to him, he still don't get it. Yeah. And that's why he's still watching our videos. And Vocab, that's why you commented on our video. He's, he's out teaching in that park. And he was like, uh, where y'all at? You know what I mean? He's like, what, you want the, the coordinates? That's all I said. I ain't, I ain't talking to you, dude. I'm watching all of our videos like a creepy weirdo stalker in the bushes. I'm at your mama's house. Is <laughs> it? He, he, yeah, you come home, he said it, sitting at the table with your mom drinking coffee and shit. But they, they were reading the scriptures together, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> that nigga a creep. That nigga a straight creep. All right, let me uh, continue on this song. Psalm 78, that's 2 and 8. He shall have dominion also from sea to sea and from the river mm. unto the ends of the earth. That's a thing too, man. Listen, we gonna have it because what <laughs> they say that what that's, that's like a, a showing a show a dominance, whatever. When you have control over the seas, what's that saying? You know what I'm talking about? They said about Britain back in the day, didn't they? They like you have they have control oh, of the yeah, seas, whatever. Oh yeah, control the seas, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, what I'm saying. So that's that's the thing. The Lord gonna control all this shit. You know what I'm I saying? Mean, what's the going down? They fighting over you know the seas right now between the United mm-hmm. States and China, the South China Sea. Yeah. Because you control the seas, you control trade and everything. Yeah. Fucking, what's that, uh, what's that, the uh, Strait of Hormuz, whatever? Yeah. If you have control over that, you controlling what? Like, what's like, what's the like 30% of some shit of yeah. oil come from whatever? Think about it. I mean, that's how the Phoenicians got so goddamn rich. Yeah. The Phoenicians got rich because they was the, the, back in the day, they was the masters of the seas. Mm-hmm. That's how the Vikings became so famous. Mm-hmm. And they, that's how they spread their seed. And they was Israelites, too, by the way. Mm-hmm. And they would spread their seed all over the damn place. How? Because mm-hmm. they had them ships. Hey, them ships too. That's how Israel got scattered yeah. on them ships. Yeah. Selling all over the world. Mm-hmm. Psalms uh, 72 and 9. They that dwell in the wilderness shall bow before him, mm-hmm. and his enemies shall lick the dust. Mm-hmm. Ow! Mm-hmm. Damn, he's going to lick the dust off our boots. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right before he curb stomp you. Yeah. They that dwell in the wilderness shall bow be- Who dwells in the wilderness? We got, it says we got three minutes left, huh? Oh, shit. Isn't Esau a wild man? He live in the wilderness. He's a wild animal. The kings of Tarshish is Spain. The kings of Tarshish and the Isles shall bring presents. The kings of Sheba and Seba shall offer gifts. So, yeah, all these heathens, they're going to pay tribute to us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all the kings shall fall down before him. All nations shall serve him. So all these nations on the earth, they all going to be destroyed. Get the kingdom of heaven, 
can't come into existence till all the other kingdoms are all abolished. He gonna abolish them. Okay. Ooh, that's fire. All the kings shall fall down before him. All nations shall serve him. For he shall deliver the needy when he crieth. We out here crying right now. The poor also in him that hath no helper. We got no helper, do we? Mm. Ain't got no way to help. Who, who got the help us to save us from the mark of the beast and these microchips? Mm. Who gonna save us from these goddamn vaccinations? Motherfuckers forcing sticking needles in you and your children and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We got no help. We got no hope. Except yeah. for the most high. Yeah. Well, actually, that's a lot of help. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a lot of people, they, they, they think they're gonna just leave America and go somewhere else, but they're gonna try chipping motherfuckers over there too. You they hear Trump say he's gonna use the military. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He said by the end of the year they're gonna use the military to uh distribute. You can just turn it off. We're gonna say Shalom. Right. Yeah. Just, just close it? Yeah, yeah, just oh. close it.